What's going on guys? We've just gotten back from the Intel Game Chamber event in Sydney. It was held at the University of Arts in Darlinghurst. It was a super sick event. They had it in a, uh, in a what I call the cell block chamber, which is basically it was like an old prison that they sort of like, you could look at the walls and there was like all these etchings of like where they had the old fittings and like you could see where the prisoners were like making notches in the walls. Crazy, crazy event. But you would walk into this event, right? You'd walk in and the whole place is like covered in, in like this this really, really like somber blue, like the Intel blue. It was so sick. They had some awesome music playing. They had a big, 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 big uh, screen up on stage. That was absolutely amazing. It was playing some stuff on the screen up there. But uh, they had a whole bunch of stuff going on at this event, man. They had uh, they had the guys from Team AU who broke the world overclocking record on a 6950X. Amazing. Congratulations to you guys. That was uh, that was amazing just to hang out and talk to you guys and see just a bit of an insight into what it's like over, over in the, uh, over the overclocking world, man. Uh, they also had a flight simulator that was set up so it was a curved screen and you could sit in this cockpit and they had like these uh they had these uh like screens and touch panels and all this really cool stuff like that it was nuts it was absolutely nuts man that was so sick to actually be able to sit in one of those and just like just try it out um that was amazing uh they also had uh msy also came through and they set up multiple pcs to play on and it was it was really really good they had like they had like uh, three computers that were set up and they had uh they had a triple monitor set up that was there that was that was, that was ridiculous the monitors were flipped in like a like a in portrait mode instead of like instead of landscape so you get like a big image but it's just split across a whole bunch monitors man that is amazing and someone please hook me up with one of those oh my lordy they also had um also there there was a uh there was also uh there was a vr demo that was there and i've never tried vr before and i was sort of been on the edge of like oh is vr gonna be a thing is you know is it just a flash in the pan thing because you guys remember what happened when we had 3d gaming right we had 3d gaming and everyone's like this is gonna be the next big thing this is the most amazing thing and then you had to like you had to do this you had to go sit back and you had to put glasses on and like these aren't you know, vr glasses but like these aren't 3d glasses but you know what i mean like and you had to always constantly put glasses on and it was like uh people uh, it wasn't a thing but um, the, the result of that is we ended up getting 144 hertz monitors, well, you know, above now what we're getting. But VR was so sick, man, so sick. I played this game called uh, Space Pirate Simulator, and you would be playing, right? And you'd be like, uh, you'd, it's like this, uh, it's like this horizon. You're, you're like sitting, you're like in this spot, and like these little drones would like fly up over the uh, over the horizon, and you would like shoot them, right? And then as they would like shooting at you, you'd have one hand would be a sword, uh, one hand would be a shield, one hand would be a gun. And uh, to to and I was like, oh man, this is kind of weird because I'm left-handed and I had the gun in the right hand, right? And the guy's like, hey, flip your arm, uh, flick your flick your hand over your shoulder and bring it back. And I was like, mm, okay, right? Flicked it over, came back. It was a gun as well. And from there, it was just like nailing everything, man. The really cool thing that sold me about it is like these little drones were shooting at you, and as they shot, there was like a bit of a slowdown time, and you could hear where they were shooting from. But you would have this, uh, they would shoot at you and you'd see the bullets coming towards you, right? So I thought, oh man, these bullets coming towards me, I think I might just dodge. And I dodged and I moved my head and the you could it was like a matrix moment. You're like, and it was so freaking sick. And then when that was going on, boom, shooting stuff, bam, shooting stuff. It was so sick. I am completely sold on VR. Like uh, HTC, whoever, please let, let, let's get let's get some VR VR stuff happening, man. Because I reckon that would be absolutely phenomenal to show you guys. Uh, they also had some re like these amazing Skull Canyon Nux, man. And if you guys haven't seen these, these are about the same size as a uh, like a like a uh, like a uh, like a DVD case, probably a little bit bigger than a DVD case, probably about three DVDs, three DVD cases, or three, three PlayStation cases, like this, right? Um, like stacked, three of them stacked, right? Three, three cases stacked, or four. Um, and we were playing CSGO on them, 150 FPS, but so smooth. They had like a, they had like a mini LAN that was set up there that people could go in and play. Um, they had a competition that was running throughout the night who had the most amount of frags before the end of the night. Um, it was absolutely phenomenal. I really those those tiny little knocks. I think that's that's where it's going to be. If you guys are a streamer or a content creator, um, you could basically grab the little knock, put it in your bag. If you get a keyboard and mouse, like a wireless keyboard and mouse or whatever you want on the run, uh, you could put that in your bag and then go take it with you. Um, you could pretty much go because uh, it plugs into HDMI. You could like plug it into like a like a TV or whatever. If you're if you're staying at a hotel, or, like you go to a mate's place and he's got like a couple of monitors like there or a, mo or a spare monitor. It doesn't have to be like a crazy good monitor, but you can actually like you know take your stuff with you. Those are super sick. And I started thinking in the realms of like what it would look like if you were a streamer, right? What could it potentially do? What what what, what potentially could you do if 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 you're streaming and you had one of these things, right? You could essentially have a secondary PC that was crunching out your stream, right? 
But then you just have a USB capture card that sits to it, and the footprint is so small. You could just like you could put it on top of your current PC, and it wouldn't like it wouldn't take up the space of having like another computer. Man, those things are sick. Those those knocks, man. That's that's life goals right there, man. Getting getting one of those would be so freaking sick. Intel. Look this up. Um, they also had uh, they also had uh, a really cool little chill out lounge spot where you could like sit down and play some like Rocket League. Um, I know Hideous Adams and I we sat down and uh, you could play some Rocket League and there was some Lego Star Wars. So as the night was sort of like winding down, Hideous Adams and I kind of like were like yeah we're just gonna go play some Rocket League, man. And we just sat down and flopped down on these couches and they were running on the knuck as well. They also had these really uh, these custom PCs that were brought by M Wave. Um, they looked ridiculous. Uh, I would not have the time nor patience to actually build one myself, but like, man, those are freaking dope. Um, they also, oh, 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 and we also got to play, uh, we also got to play Doom on that in 4K, and it was running so smooth. Like, you don't understand. My, that was also my first experience with uh, with 4K stuff. So that looked super crisp, super amazing. But yeah, the event itself was absolutely amazing, guys. I cannot thank Intel enough for getting us down there and letting us. Letting us, letting us just sort of like walk around and just absorb it all and take it all in, man. Because like, there's some really, really cool stuff that's coming on the horizon for those guys. And like, those Nux itself, those sold me, man. Like, legit, those things sold me. Like, as soon as I saw, as soon as I saw those, I'm like, that's what we're playing games on. This is what we're playing CS on. And they're like, yeah, yeah, that's what we're playing CS on. I'm like, wow. Then, then the cog started turning. I was like, oh wow, I could, you could, you could have one of these and then make it as a stream, like dedicated stream PC. So then, say for example, if you go to like. You know, if you start, if you travel around and like, you know, you go to a convention or whatever it is, and they're like, oh, okay, no, you know, and you have, a, you have a spot or you go to someone's house and you can stream from their house, you could essentially have like all of your overlay and everything just on that thing, and just have like a, a USB, uh, have it, have a USB capture card with HDMI, and that would take care of everything, man. That's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. But thank you so much to Intel for letting us go down, man. Uh, if you guys want to check out the, uh, we did a, we did a, a Periscope when we were there. I'll put it in the description below, but go check it out. It's basically just a fly through. We just sort of walk around the event and like check out like all the various things and show you guys all the awesome things that are going on but uh yeah guys thank you so much if you guys haven't liked and subscribed already please go ahead and do so and uh i'll catch you guys in the next one man but i'm still like those knocks damn holy heck see you guys soon bye what's he trying to do he's trying to toy with me right now you can't get me because i'm so close you can't get me Um, A for effort. It's gonna wait me out. Totally gonna wait me out. Totally wait me out.